close the window. Hello, 大家好 Welcome to my channel. This will probably be the only video, or one of the very few videos I'll be shooting in English.、Um, and I want to name this video as "Things That Make Me Uncomfortable." And I struggle、uh, to whether or not to shoot this video today, but. My husband Scott really encouraged me to do so because I still have the passion or emotion、uh, to do it properly. As you notice,、uh, English is not my first language. I came here probably seven, eight years ago when I went to University of Toronto、uh, for my education. So I clearly have an accent, but I've lived in this country for eight years, and I work. In the environment that requires a lot of communications, and I think a lot of people who live overseas、uh, can resonate with me. Although this is not our first language, we have strong accent.、Uh, we are fluent、um, in a sense that we live in this language, we think in this language, we convey our emotions, and messages、um, to the rest of the people. So one thing that really triggered me to do this video is what happened today at work.、Um, I work in a retail environment. We have a lot of customers coming in that require, I guess, different level of services. And I always take pride in、uh, the wide range of services, the way we can go above and beyond to make everybody happy. But I think it is sometimes challenging、um, as a female, as a foreigner. Uh, or as an Asian, or as someone who's really young, I hear a lot of comments that, to me at least personally, I don't think is appropriate. So today I had a elderly customer who come in、uh, requesting specific kind of services. So as a manager, I I came over to her,、um, asking how I support, and I did. Um, end up giving her a solution.、Um, I guess it wasn't to her expectation in a sense.、Uh, she really wanted a dedicated、um, one-on-one experience in our store. In the end, I don't think the solutions I offered to the customer was to her expectation.、Um, so she randomly made this comment at the very end of our conversation. She asked me if I was Japanese. So I politely said, "No, I'm not." And she continued asking if I'm Korean, and I said, "I'm sorry, I'm not either."、Um, but I didn't feel like continuing this conversation because I feel like this topic was irrelevant to everything、uh, we've talked about.、Uh, because I got that question so often, and I feel like I have the right to not to give an answer. Clearly, I have the Asian look,、uh, and I think that's. Out of question,、um, and I would pleasantly answer that question in any other context, but not in this case. So I really wanted to end the end the conversation, and she continued saying something like, "Well, you have a strong accent.、Uh, there's nothing wrong to be an Asian." And I politely shifted the topic again,、uh, but internally I was pretty upset and angry, and I couldn't figure out why. Um, because theoretically, there's nothing wrong with the question itself、uh, by asking me, you know, what my background is,、um, and I, I'm like, it, it's so obvious. I'm so proud to be in the Chinese. I would、um, very happily introduce Chinese culture and language to all other people, but not in that context. So I came home. I thought about what are some things that really make me uncomfortable. And I think I came to the conclusion. I don't know if I have a solid conclusion. Racial comments, or gender comments, or age comments that clearly tailored in a contest,、uh, your audience is trying to make you uncomfortable will make me uncomfortable. And I think in this case,、um, this customer I was talking to didn't really need to make any comment on my race,、uh, but she chose to because. She didn't get the service she was expecting to get, and and I think I did the right thing、uh, for not answering a question I was not comfortable with. 
And I think similar cases include customer calling me young. Uh, when I was the manager going forward, um, addressing their issues, um, customer behind my back, but intentionally wanted to me to hear comment on, um, I was a female, I was not capable of doing my job. And I think a lot of other people who might not be in the same category as me have experienced sim similar things. And I, I would like to think I fight and I work really hard uh, to be able to prove myself uh, in a world, in a modern world that's in majority of cases are merit based, but actually not. Um, and because I'm protecting a brand, I'm protecting my own experience, I'm protecting my co experience, sometimes I have to suppress uh, my intuitive uh, reaction, which is to call them back or direct to tell the person in front of me that I really don't appreciate the comment, please take it back. I have to suppress that feeling. That's why I want to make this video because I, I hear those comments almost on a daily basis. Um, and I have to, sometimes I get to share with my family, friends, with my coworkers, but a lot of cases I do have to internalize it. I have to normalize it, which I'm really ashamed of because I, I think I should be able to share it. I should be able to talk about it um, because I'm not doing anything wrong by working in my position um, as an Asian, as a young female. And I, sh I think I should be able to you know, not be shame over my accent and my background. I should be able to comfortably talk about background and not talk about it when I don't feel like doing it. Um, that's why I want to make this video because right now I am still angry. Um, I'm not at angry at anyone or at, at any situation. I'm only f feeling sorry for how ignorant some people are but I think a bigger question is how do we address it? Um, how do we educate a wider population um, in a such diverse world? We live with different kind of people who come from different backgrounds. Uh, we come to a, maybe we land on in the same country right now, but we probably land in this country at a different time. And that all shape our experience and shape who we are right now. And I think there is a closeness or connectedness among all of us, but there's also space and a distance that we should respect and keep and maintain. Um, if I don't feel like sharing or if I don't feel like uh, reacting to things that are irrelevant to what I do um, as a job, then I should have the right to remain that right. I don't know if anything I'm saying today makes any sense, but if you find it resonant with you or relevant, um, please comment. Um, I would love to hear your feedback. Bye now.